Hello, and thank you for looking in. This video takes up the M3 half-track, known officially as the Carrier Personal Half-Track M3, was widely used by the Allies during World War II and the Cold War. Derived from the N2 half-track car, originally intended to function as an artillery tractor, and was 10 inch shorter than the M3, pretty much the only way to distinguish between the two. Note the 10 inch longer M3 body extends further beyond the tracks. Mid the World Wars, the United States Army wanted to improve the mobility of its forces, so the Ordnance Department had looked at the half-track design by testing the French Citroën Tigressi vehicles. The White Motor Company created a prototype half-track using their chassis and the body of an M3 scout car. The design was based on the Citroën Tigressi half-track. They used as many commercial parts as possible to facilitate speedy repairs and an abundance of available parts in the field. Unpopular at first due to poor protection of its armor resulted in the nickname Purple Heart Boxes. Machine guns could pierce the side armor, landmines the floor, and lack of roof protection provided no shelter from shrapnel and artillery that burst in the air. The M3 had a single access door in the rear and could seat a 12-man rifle squad. Five seats on each side in the back of the vehicle, and three seats inside the cab. Ammunition and rations were stored in racks under the seats. More racks behind the seat backs stored the squad's rifles and other storage. A small rack of mines was placed on the outside of the bed just above the tracks. In combat, additional food, packs, and other crew gear was kept on the outside of the vehicle. Very late M3s had rear mounted racks for crew storage. The design was standardized in 1940 and built by the Auto Car Company, Diamond T Motor Company, and the White Motor Company. The White 160 AX 128 horsepower gasoline engine moved the M3 up to 55 miles per hour on the road. It used a manual non synchro mesh transmission with four forward and one reverse gear and a two speed transfer case. Demountable headlights moved from the fenders to the side of the hood, and a winch was available. The track suspension used a vertical volute spring. A volute spring is a compression spring in the form of a cone. Under compression, the coils slide over each other, which is more stable and powerful than a leaf bar or coil spring. Mounted vertically in a road wheel bogey for a pair of road wheels results in a very compact unit. Early vehicles had a pintle mount, also called a post mount, just behind the front seats and later on the sides of the passenger compartment that mounted 50 caliber and 30 caliber machine guns. Introduced in 1945, the later M381 adopted a raised armored ring nicknamed pulpit mount for the 50 caliber. Many M3s were later modified to the M3A1 standard. The body was armored all around with an adjustable armored shutter for the engine's radiator and a bulletproof windscreen. 41,000 M3s were produced. The end ditching roller is a device fitted to the front of the M3 and other military vehicles to keep the vehicles from getting stuck in a ditch. This worked by preventing the front end from digging into the side of the ditch and acting like a big roller allowing the front end to roll up and over the ditch. The M3 was found in all theaters of war. A total of 41,000 were built with 23 plus variants and were used by 20 countries. The U.S. replaced theirs with the M75 armored personnel carrier. Israel was given many half-tracks, which they greatly modified, ending with the TCM-20, the last modified version. They are still in service today, 